welcome to MGP 562. I'm Kev and with me this week there is Anna and Pab. Say hello boys and girls. Hello. Hello. We're 100% sheep dog free, 100% sheep dog free. Oh, what a time to be alive, boys and girls. He's had to leave the country because there's an election on and he's not allowed to be any part of it. Can you imagine how annoying Mr. Social Justice Warrior political tweeter would be if he was in the country in election week? So we've shipped him off to Switzerland, where I think he is officially becoming a Swiss football fan because this podcast does sneak out just before England plays Switzerland, doesn't it, Pabby? I don't understand when the podcast Uh, is anymore. Yeah, yeah, so he's he's we sent him there as a mole to do some research on Swiss football, and just basically keep him out from under our feet while while the grown ups decide how to run the country. Because I I genuinely I don't think I could cope with him today. I, at the time of recording, the general election is tomorrow, and I just don't think he'd be able to help himself if we let him on the podcast this week. He would have too many soapboxes to stand on. So it is for the best that we're we're distancing you from him boys and girls plus because we've sent him to switzerland that means he re- he legitimately does have to bring back a toblerone now it's the home of toblerone if he goes to switzerland and doesn't bring us a toblerone back he's arguably history's greatest monster so fingers crossed we've all got a delicious toblerone in our future which and, i'm very much looking forward to and if he doesn't come back with stories about tasting perch he, oh, absolutely, well yeah. I mean, I I gave him full instructions. I'm not interested in it. I'm a vegetarian. So what? It's fish. Eat it. It's it's delicious. It's the greatest fish I've ever tasted. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, Anna can confirm how much of a big deal I make of perch any time I see it. I'm unbearable. She yes. had to, when we were on holiday in Lanzarote, she had to, because I was afraid to go and talk to the man. There's a, there's a man who, they, they have the buffet, but then there's also the man. And I was afraid to talk to the man for like the first week that we were there. Um, but after about a week, Anna was like, you know, he's got perch. And I got very excited and agreed to go and see the man. But she had to come with me and basically stand next to me while I asked the man for my perch. And from then on, I was very happy. I had it like three more times over the course of the holiday. Didn't mind going once I realized he wasn't mean. But there's no way of telling if he was mean or not initially. So I needed Anna there to to help me get my perch on. These, these are the things you're going to have to do when we go to Disneyland, puppy, because Anna's good. Anna's already said she's going to alloc- allocate some of the Kevin care tasks to you. Just what she just washed her hands with. She's like, it's your job. It's you now. I think Anna's going to be in an overall coordinator position and is yeah, going yeah, um, yeah, to be yeah. supervising, but. I wouldn't be at all surprised if there were occasions where she lets you do the uh, the the individual man management. Yes, that's right. It's, it's when it's, it goes when it goes above my pay grade, I've got to go to Anna. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, okay, uh, she's, fair enough. She knows all of my correct terms and conditions. Yeah, but, uh, Anna has, yeah. The, has the, all the notes on her phone of what to do. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I assume we've told this story before because there legitimately is a notes page with basically it's my instruction manual so if anything ever happens to anna she has to provide her successor with the instruction book to basically how to look after me properly and it does have things like what i eat at what restaurant uh what cinema screens i like and dislike and why um various what my coffee orders (laughs) are in various coffee shops at various times of the year um she's got it all noted down because otherwise I she she knows I will just turn to her and say what do I have here what do I like what do I want now what do I like I don't know I, how I can't be expected to remember what dinner I like that's Anna's job mm. and she's very good at it yes, good, I am. good job Apple Notes <laughs> <laughs> good job Apple Notes uh, automatically populates over from one phone to the next or else we'd have had many problems over the years but. Every time she gets a new phone, it just populates straight over and she continues to know my likes and dislikes, which is very, very important. I don't think I could have survived in the past. It would have been a disaster. Yes. But yes, that's where Sheepdog is. Uh, the rest of us are here, though. In fact, me and Anna won't be here next week, so you're not going to get a full foursome for a little while. Me and Anna are off gallivanting to Centre Parks next week. So oh. we'll we'll come back the week after having actually played some video games because but we'll, we'll be, be away with our from children. Home. Yeah, so we'll need to play video games to escape from them. Mm. <laughs> you taking, def- are you taking the uh, the suitcase again? 
Well, see, he, won't, he won't let me. It's not that oh. I won't let her. It's that because we're taking children, we have to fit. We can't have both oh, of the yes, seats of course. down. We have to fit Anna's scooter in. And because of the dietary requirements of said children, we also have to take a camping fridge full of fish fingers and waffles. So by the time we've got a mobility scooter and a camping fridge in our boot and a half, mm. and then a couple of bags, I really don't know that we're going to fit the the thing in. What we really need is one of those roof boxes. I was going to say you need a roof rack and... Uh, box well, hopefully top. by the time we go to Disney, we'll have our new car and we might get a roof box. There's no point getting a roof box for our current car when we're getting our new one in less than two months, hopefully. But I, it has occurred to me we'll potentially have a similar issue when we go to Disney with you. You'll be sat in the little child's individual seat in the back with a mobility scooter next to you. And then we'll have all of our luggage in the boot. So, uh, yeah, we might need, might need a trailer to put Anna's uh, PlayStation in. That might work. I just won't take it. <laughs> you did offer to just have it on your lap. Up which... under, like <laughs> under my feet. Yeah, I don't know that it's going to fit in that manner. But uh, yeah, she was she was up for it just being on her lap or in between her legs while she sat there in the front. But I don't know for sure if that would work. But we'll definitely have our switches with us next week. We will definitely have the Steam Deck with us. So between us, I assure you, we will come back in two weeks' time as official video game experts just like we did when we went to lanzarote and i came back and said yeah i just played Bellatro." but anna played well, you played something different there didn't you? you were playing on your switch every day so you've got a game already lined up ready to go the luigi's one haven't you so we're we're gonna we're gonna be well behaved we're gonna be good that doesn't help us this week when neither of us played anything because we're at home and when we're at home that means it's, we don't have to play video games. It's been like three days. That is that a very is good true. point as well. Yeah, we last recorded on Friday. It's now Wednesday, so we haven't played a huge amount since then. Um, I've just fiddled with more Football Manager, and I think I had one round of Balatro when I was having a particularly troublesome poo at one point. But I, is it out on phone yet? I could really do with not having to keep my Switch charged all the time when I'm at home. I, I would so. like the I would like the mobile version. Why don't you just put it in the dock when you're not playing? What and get it's a dock point. in the bathroom? No, but in your other room. There's a spare dock downstairs. You just Is won't there, use oh it. God. Why won't I use it? I must have had a reason. Well, because for I bought a new it. one and you went, I'll have the dock if you're not having it. I put it on your side of the thing. You've never touched it. I would like that. That would be handy because my dock in here, um, suffered the same fate as my original why are you I... crushing things yeah <laughs> yeah i crush things with my sit stand desk so uh yeah oh, I, uh, I probably need to have the dock plugged in in the living room maybe and then dock myself in there i don't think there's it's... any plugs for it to go in i i sever my cables because i am quite rough with these kind of items because i'm a silly boy a silly silly boy I mean... but uh Go on, Pabby. You, you, so you can you know, just replace the, like... the cables, or is it? You I could, but they will just, just happen it. again, wouldn't it? So you know. I know but you could just put it in your Lego room. Cables. You've That's got one of them cables everywhere. I've got multiple in there. That room's full of cables. So just put it in one of them. Oh, do... you know what? Deal. I'll do that because that's also near my preferred pooing toilet. So I could just grab my switch on the way to the toilet, and then. I'll start having variable length toilet trips depending on how successful my Bellatro run will be. Mm. This is a this is a great plan. We've come up, we've put our heads together and come up with an excellent solution to a troublesome problem. And for that, I think all three of us deserve a round of applause. In fact, uh, dear listener, if you are impressed with our problem solving abilities, please feel free to express your delight by tweeting at us at RB6K and letting us know what an excellent solution it was. Um, it will be very much appreciated. We'll, we'll love to read through your messages at the official show Twitter at RB6K. Also address all your complaints there. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, other than other than that one little round of Balatro, I've uh, I've not really done very much again. I'm whispering it so people don't realise I've not really done very much again. I am getting back into doing 
Um, I've, I'm actually right now playing a football manager save that isn't necessarily for a video. So I've not played a football manager oh. save that wasn't for a video for about three years. I think it might end up becoming a video, um, but I'm just I'm just playing a save. I've I've I'm enjoying football at the moment. The Euros have got me interested in football partly because I'm fascinated by how the summer transfer window is going for my beloved Peterborough United, who've just decided the logical thing to do this summer is to sell our entire defence and replace it with replace them with wingers. And at the moment, all we've got is attacking players. So I'm, uh, I am a little bit intrigued about how that's going to turn out. Um, but just... Hello? It, it's, it's... Hello, Anna? Hello? Oh, everything just went completely silent then. <laughs> I think that was your brain shutting off me discussing football. <laughs> You did well because I was I was going into a full state of football in the transfer window thing there, so it probably is for the best that you just cut me off because that could, that could have been a fifteen minute football chat that I yeah. imagine yeah, most of us wouldn't have been very interested in. It's complete silence. Yeah, yeah, no, I, you, I, you you did well there because I I was going for it. Yeah, I, I, I nearly, was off I on nearly, one. I nearly brought up Bolton, and I was like, then it would have started, <laughs> especially when yeah. Bolton tried to buy all of Peterborough's players. Yeah. Goodness me, um, but yes, that is uh, that is that is basically the full extent of my gaming this week. I am I am ashamed of myself, but as Anna rightly says, it has only been three days, so I'm officially using that as an excuse. So I'm I don't three mind days. so much. Four four days, three days. When did we last record? What day is it Friday? today? Friday. Five days. Ah, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I've only been awake for three of them, though. I'm, uh, I, yeah, I've I've been doing all sorts of. I had a lie in this morning. I slept until nine o'clock this morning, Bubby. I've gone full YouTube. Nine o'clock wow. in the morning on a Wednesday. What a life! But um, yeah, please talk about some video games. Me? Okay. I've robbed you. I don't mind. I, um, I, I've lit. That's literally it. I've done mine. Someone said um, on our stream last night, is there any plans to change MGP up at some point? Because uh, you don't really talk about games. No, there are no plans. We, we'll drift wrap around to it. There's new consoles coming at some point. When the Switch 2 comes out, I'll be some, all over games point. for a little while. Yeah, it'll be fine. In the next 12 months. Yeah, exactly. I'm ready. I am ready to go. I'm ready for that. That's for sure. I mean, they're not, they're not just... They're not... The games aren't on hiatus until that point. You know that, don't you? Well, I do keep looking. You know, Anna gets every new game delivered as as usual. And I look at them as they come in. And if anything looked remotely interesting, I'd play it. I think the problem is they just don't make Kevin games anymore. And that that is, I mean, this is a wider gaming discussion. But they don't make my games anymore. I th- or I at the moment. I think you've 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 like moved i feel like in in the years your your what you the games you like has changed well no because i always i i loved skyrim and oblivion and bioshock i like my big story driven games i don't want first person shooters and i know i've mentioned bioshock and i wouldn't play that if it came out today because it's a shooter um but i don't i, I want a big story driven epic piece of awesomeness Baldur's gate was brilliant last year but has there been an equivalent of that come out this year? I'm not aware of it. But it that is massively different from what a first person shooter like in the vein of like Bioshock and stuff like that. It's, it's, yeah, but Bioshock a, was an think... incredible story. It's the story that I'm really in for. I want to play the game on easy mode and just have a nice story told to me. Life... <laughs> See, this is the thing I don't know now. I feel like I've spoken of at least three story games. Now, the chances are, I know I've spoken of at least one of those while you've not been here. Well, then, what use is that? So you may have missed nobbies, it. Abby. But I have played, I've played two or three story games this year that are, like, between three and six hours long. Well, for and goodness sake, give me names. <laughs> you want a name? Um, I want three names. You just said you've done three. I want all three names, and I'm going to play them now. Yes. Um... I think one is called Return to Grace. And I warn you, these are poxy little indie games that look like they were made by. So is Palatro, Kevin? Yeah, Return shut your mouth. To Grace. You're all you're all indie these days. You're Mr. Indie. He loves he loves his indie. Very much is. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't want to play indie games, but then he that's just doesn't what want he to be plays. seen to be playing them. 
Exactly. And don't make me get my cones out. Yeah, exactly. It you. says this game is similar to the Stanley Parable. The only friend on my friend list who's played this game. In fact, I have one friend who wants this game, which is somebody called Pad. So you okay. claim to have played it. It's on it's Game on Pass. It's on your wish list. It's on Game Pass. Okay. I played it on Game Pass, and then I I I put it on my wish list. That's how good I enjoyed it. I thought, well, I'm going to buy that when it goes on sale. I've played it, but I'll happily buy it just because I thought it was good. Well, I'll add it to my wish list. There you it's go. A, um, Goodbye on Steam Deck. Can I take this away with uh, me? More than likely, yeah. Um, the other one, um, I'm sure I told you about Indica. Isn't that a type of coffee bean or something? It's a type of weed strain, I think. But, um, That's it is. I think yeah. Indica to be on Steam anywhere. It is on Steam. I N D I N D I K A. I spoke about it. I may have been when you were off. Um, Indica, third-person story-driven game set in an alternative Russia. Interesting. One but you're a nun. Already owns this game. Oh, that's P- Pab owns this game. Similar to Alan <laughs> Wake. Come on now, Pabby. Alan Wake in the Stanley Parable. There better not be. Hey, Alan Wake. Scared yeah, you me. loved Alan Wake one. Scared me. This isn't scared, scared you. It's not. It's not scary. It's. Uh, it's just weird. Um. But it's really. It's. It's really. It's pretty good. Um. Well, I'm just scro- to my wish list. I'm scrolling through my notes and I just go and there's got. There is another one on here. It Open says roads. This is a horror game. It's not horror. It's not horror. Well, it's- According horror Steam, adjacent. It's, horror it's not. Game. It's not horror. It's not it's scary. It's puzzle any. surreal, third person horror and dark. It's not horror. It's but dark. Can you just play it, Kevin? It's sixteen quid. I'm not just gonna. Yeah, but Pab's never wrong. You know this. Yeah, I don't miss. We'll see about that. Um, I have a look on check. Are you still a Game Pass subscriber? I mean, I pay a lot of money to both Microsoft and Sony on an annual basis. Check, so I check. assume so. Check. It. I can't remember whether Indica's on Game Pass. Might not be, but oh, I don't. It's Steam I don't... Deck verified. I can see that as of the right. 11th of June. It's Steam Deck verified. So there you go. I might actually play this while we're away. Uh, the last... if, if I can drag myself away from Bellatro. The last one. You'll get a mo- You'll get. You'll cry at it again, Kevin. So you'll have time. <laughs> yeah, he'll slam his switch down. He'll slam his switch down because he's been cheated on Bellatro, and he's like, I have to turn to the Steam Deck. I now. just misread the thing. It was a one-off on. incident. I explained yeah. in detail the problem I had there. And the Steam Deck nearly went through the window. It was, I was on my Switch. It was a Switch, yeah, that's right. Yeah. I can't um, take the Steam Deck with me when I fly places because uh, <laughs> I need a separate case for it. Yeah, you need a carry-on like bag for it. Um, last game is Open Roads. Open Roads. Ro- roads, not roofs. That no roads. roads and nothing came up. Let's try. Oh, there you go. Open roads. What's this similar to? This game doesn't look like any other things you've ever played in the past. I've got like, like eight hundred games on my Steam, and this is like, like Gone Home ish. It reminded me a little oh, bit of Gone Home. I played that. Yeah. This is an adventure exploration interactive fiction. Oh, this is it. This is what I'm after. This is my cup of tea. Yeah. Yes. 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 Oh, it's in a bundle for only £192. It also oh, includes bargain. What, what, may, what Remains of Edith Finch, Outer Wilds, Journey. Oh, it's I'll the Annapurna what, bundle. This is, this is, this it's the Annapurna quite, bundle, yeah. This is quite a good bundle. Is yeah. It, are these the people who've made this game? They made all those games? Yeah, Annapurna don't. Annapurna are the publishers. Annapurna publish a lot of... Okay. They, they, when Annapurna are, are publishing, I, I like sit up and take notice because they, they, they make the kind of games I like. Um, and this I've spoken about many of them in the yeah. past. Oh, it's Steam Deck verified. Yeah, in we go in the basket. It's on special promotion oh, until plus, the day after like my say, birthday as well. This, the Steam sale is on at the minute. They didn't oh, mention oh. that the Steam sale is is live and active for another week, I think. Well, I'm making three purchases right now. I'm not going to tell you what three games I'm buying. It's none of your business. But I am making three three purchases right now. Um, actually, I might not be getting returned to Grace because I can't see that it's Steam Deck verified. So, what use is it to anybody if it's not Steam Deck verified? So that one, I'm afraid, it's not going to be happening. Mm. Oh well, 
Two out of three wow, ain't bad. Two point hospitals, eighty six percent off. I think I say eighty six pence. Um, that would have well, been a bargain. Three pound forty four. Oh, well, there you go. I already own it though. Yes, yeah, so um, not on Steam now, I guess, because it's on my wish list for some reason. Even though I've got it on. Oh, supermarket simulators in the sale. Oh, I might have a nose through the sale here. He goes. He's in the sale. He's off. He's in. I did tell him last week. Oh, the AFC eighty percent off. Yeah. Anyway, um, have you played anything, Anna? No. Anyf- anything? 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 Uh... Not a thing. No, I, I don't. I don't know that that's true. I'm sure you were playing games at the weekend. No, I, I've. All I've done is made Lego and watched New Amsterdam and I'm very tired. I I think I'm I might have come down with something. I don't know. I just don't I have no ugh, I just can't be bothered. Mm-hmm. I want to, but I my my eyes say no. I think it's to do just like the time of year it is. I think there's some pollen that doesn't like me very much it just makes my eyes want to sleep because i'm not tired my eyes are tired and it's not i don't need new glasses because i just got some new ones so i just think it's just that time of the year where i just uh, just you know Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just feel like that but like kev says we're going away i've got i've got two switch games i could take with me so yeah did you get the new Paper Mario? Yes, I did. No, the old, the new old one. The new, yes, the new old one, and so that's supposed to be good. And the new old Luigi's Mansion. So yeah. you know, new old games. You've got stuff to, play. to be getting on with, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So sorry, okay. everyone. This it's all right. not in the mood. It's all right. Um, okay, so um, I can tell you about a new game that has come out this week that I have played. About an hour of, and can't decide whether I'm going to go back to it. Mm. Um, the first Descendant mm. um, came out this week. In fact, it officially launched last Friday. Um, okay. They, 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 they tricked me. They tricked me into getting all excitable. I was like, "Oh, I, I fancied playing this. It's free to play." I was like, "Okay, I'll give it a go." Mm-hmm. Um, Turns out you can just download it. You boot the game because servers launch on the second. Like, oh, oh, great! Just a just a just a menu screen. Mm. So I had to wait till yesterday. I have played it for about an hour. Um, looks very nice. Looks very pretty. Um, very like futuristic game where Earth is invaded by some aliens. I want to say, mm. and then then some bigger aliens come. And start smushing them. So then there's like a I feel like there's like a freeway war going on. Um mm-hmm. Earth just trying to defend what's left of Earth and then the aliens having a, a barrage of a battle everywhere else. Um so it's it's um a third person game, third person free to play game. Um you have we have all different guns and stuff, and you you have a double jump and you run around and do do pretty much simpleish fetch fetch quests, um, and you complete you kill enemies and they drop item they drop ammo and items of their varying coloured loot, um, and the same happens when you beat a boss, and I don't know. It's very Destiny. Mm. It's a free-to-play live live service game um, where there's a shop in it. There's a store in there with all sorts of cosmetics. You can spend a, a, a lot of money on there. Straight away, day one, there is a store filled with all sorts of... It's a little bit... It's a little bit anime. little bit. Um, it's kind of, like I say, it's a bit futuristic and... Like I say, I don't know. It just felt the the shooting felt fine. I had to adjust some sensitivity a little bit, but other than that, the shooting itself felt fine. But it is very much a thing of you get guns. I had like five of the same gun, all of varying levels, 
I have to like the first few encounters and I was like I didn't even realize it until I looked in the menu and like okay this gun actually does more damage so I had to swap the guns out and then you swap out there's mods for the guns mm. and then you do that and then like I, in me doing in me stopping and doing that after finishing a mission I inadvertently triggered the mission again because all the enemies respawned and I ended up having to do the same didn't have to do the same mission again I ended up doing it again because I just ended up in a I somehow found myself because I was in a vicinity of people because it's all like it's a bit like Destiny where it's just if you've played Destiny you go into mm-hmm. like a, a small like a it's not open world but like it's just like maps and mm-hmm. you're in a certain area and it's just enemies all converge because they're all doing the quest not enemies yes. people, players all people. converge because they're all doing mm-hmm. the quest so I stopped because I'd, I'd finished the mission and I got a load of loot and I started changing the mods out and stuff and I come out the menu, and I'm suddenly in a party, and I'm doing the same mission again. All the enemies around me had respawned because I started getting hit. So I came out the menus, and they all respawned, and there were four people doing this, doing the same mission again. I was oh, like, no. oh. And then, I, then I, I eventually just, I kind of just ran. I killed a few few guys around me, and just kind of ran away from where I was, and went to a quiet bit. But it's it's just, I don't I don't know. I just don't know whether I want. I, I was kind of looking forward to this because I didn't know what this game was. I had a, I had a feeling because I knew it was going to be free to play. I was like, is this going to be what it is? And it, it very much is. It reminds me a little bit. Do you remember when, do you remember Defiance? Yes. When Defiance came out. That's what it gives me vibes of. It doesn't play like that because Defiance was not great. But mm. you would play in, you would play in like groups and there was it's like a, a world you would go around and you'd do do like certain encounters and raid like raid areas and missions and stuff and there was like there was main missions and submissions and just stuff that just random encounters had happened in the mm-hmm. world and that feels very much like what it is um so i don't know whether i'm going to play it again solo if if i if there's a few people you know on on the discord that i hang out in might you know just start talking about it and bring it up i might play some with them i might go yeah i'll play it because it seems like the sort of it's very much a and get on disco with your friends and just aimlessly just wander through things similar to i think a little bit like destiny was um when i last played it or a podcast game it's very much a game where you could have something and not be paying attention to you just literally just going through you know paint by numbers just going through the yeah Yeah. you're just going through it going a to b a to b a to b rinse and repeat um and there is a story going on there. There is a whole story going on. Um, like I say, you you are trying to find this. The first like thing that I've done is you're trying to find this this artifact thing, and then you touch the artifact, and then suddenly you have like an AI Cortana esque person in your head, who's talking to you, who's trying to, who's saying, "I will help you solve, you know, clear all these these dudes out for you, if you go and do this, this, and this." So then you end up going and trying to find where this AI wants to take you. Mm-hmm. Um, just say, like I say, it seems all right, but I just don't know. It seems very much one of those types of games, and I don't know if I want one of those. I, I've sat on the fence very much because the, 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 the final shape for Destiny 2 came out recently, and I went, yes. and it's, it's, it's getting, it's very well regarded, and people really like it. And I was like, I've not played Destiny for years, probably, <laughs> oh, probably six years at least but Pab, the shooting mechanic the shooting mechanic. well that's the thing you see the shooting mechanics are very good and still stand by probably the best shooting mechanics around but it 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 sort of requires you to have a party of people with you it doesn't have to but you, you that's where i feel like the game kind of gets into its own because you're just in a group just shooting stuff and moving around and getting on with stuff and yeah, I just I, I very nearly pulled the trigger on because there's like because I haven't played it in six years, there's all the DLCs on sale at the minute because of the Steam sale and it's all for like less than a tenner each pack. I'm like, oh maybe, maybe. And I've I've had it literally stood at like looking at all the DLCs going, they're ready, ready about to click on it all, and then I was like, no, nope. I backed myself out of it. I'm like, no, 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 no. No, I'm not doing it. Um So I just don't know if I need one of them. Like I, I have a live service game in my life which is Fortnite, so i don't know if i need oh it's a whole different Another type of, it's a, it's a different mm. type of game but it is one of them games that wants you to to 
it wants it to be your forever game and is the game that you only ever play and it, you need to devote the time to it. And I just don't know if I've got the time to do two of them. Um, so yeah, the first send it, it seems all right. It's from Nexon, which I found out today is a South Korean company. Um, and they say, it's like I say, it seems all right. I, I was worried initially and it's like, it wants to, but you know, the firewall comes up and goes, you know, the windows firewall going, do you want to let this through? And I'm, I'm going, do I? I don't know. I was like, I think so. I've not heard anything negative about it all of a sudden. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I'd like to say, I might play more. I might not. It depends if I'm talked into it or if I can if I can convince other people to play it with me. I don't like to say otherwise. I don't think I'll play it on my own. Um, things that I have played with other people, I've played more Chain Together. <laughs> um, we I have done a four stack of people Chain Together now. Um, I've made it out of hell. I've made it to the city. We've made it out of this. We've made it out of the city into the rooftops. Um, yeah, that game is fun. That game is a fun little game, especially when you played it on beginner and there are checkpoints. Um, because I would be infuriated if I lost the, the <laughs> amount of progress that we did just trying to do these things. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it's one of them that I feel like. I can't remember last time I had, I think I did last, before last, well, yeah, we definitely. By the time I recorded last time, I had done an evening where I, I stayed up way too late past my bedtime. Uh, and it's happened again this week uh, where I was up till about quarter to 12 and I uh, just trying to do these levels, trying to get, trying to just, you know, it's just like, it's that one more goal mentality of like, yeah, yeah, we can yeah. do it this time. We can do it. We can do it. And just want to get to that next checkpoint. It's just that constant, like, thing of i just want to get to the next checkpoint i just want to get to the next checkpoint um so yeah we're up to the rooftops now um uh, the city was quite fun there was a fault we had to we had to use a forklift truck in the city which was quite fun <laughs> um there's a there's a there's like a pallet full of like um what i'm guessing is cement or stuff like that the pallet mm-hmm. full of it on on the road in front of you you've got to use a forklift truck and then just lift it up and push it across mm-hmm. um so yeah, it's, it's yeah, it's see, it's 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 a good little game where you got to climb up things and just make your way up, all chained together. Mm. And yes, it is, it is, it is annoying at times when you're just like, I just, I, I'm, I'm doing my bit. I'm not the one letting people down. It's everybody else. Yeah. Like if, it, if, it, but, but then, then there comes a point where you're the one letting everybody down because you can't, and because you're chained, you also like say so you carry the momentum and the weight carries with you. So if someone goes off the side, their momentum drags you with them or, you know, you're trying to get something and suddenly you, you can't jump because there's literally a, a dead weight like pulling you down. You can't jump to get out of the trouble so you end up going with them anyway. Um, so yeah, I've played that. I'll, at odds are, we might finish this game. I don't know how far up this game goes. It feels like it goes on forever. Um but I don't know. I feel like it's sort of game that when I get onto Discord and the right people are on, mm-hmm. it'd be like if we're doing some chain together, it'd be like, yeah, go on then. Uh, like it's literally like it's, this time, like we it, when I played it last, um, I was getting ready to go to bed, and then suddenly people turned <laughs> up and went, "Go on, we'll just do a quick half an hour," and like an hour and a half comes by, and it's just like, oh, I, I, I'm gonna pay for it tomorrow. And I definitely did the day after at work. Um. Um, so yeah, chain together seems okay. It seems okay for what it is. What was it? Four quid. Mm-hmm. Which isn't bad at all for what it is. Um, and the other thing I've played is more Elden Ring: Shadow of the Earth Tree. I have, Why do you do it? I have stepped up. <laughs> I have. I have uh, got brave and decided to venture out past the first. But like realistically, last week I, I I talked of how I got to the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. I hadn't done much of the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC. I got to the first grace point and ventured to the right, uh, where there were a lot of signs saying "hard enemy" in the like to, to the direct right. So I kind of steered away from that, went down to like a little <laughs> church at the bottom where there was a few easy enemies, and I got the Skadoo Tree uh, seed or whatever it is that, mm-hmm. that bolsters your strength. 
So I got that and then went back and then I just kind of stood there at the at the at the uh, at the waypoint and just kind of stood there and watched and just looked out at it and going, I don't, I, I'm too frightened to go because once again, like, <laughs> I just, I've got too many runes to lose again. Yeah. I, I shouldn't care about it. Um, so I ventured out. I now have four, four, sh- four sh- shrines, is it? Shrine? Why am I saying? Yeah, waypoints, whatever they are. Suddenly yeah, that's, lost yeah. My, yeah, I think they're called um, grace points. That's what they're called. Uh, I've got four of those now. I've completed I've completed a, like a whole section of where I've been. Mm-hmm. Um, I've spoken to a couple of NPCs. I found a boss fog door, and I went, I can't do that now. <laughs> I feel like I'm halfway to a level. I was like, I can't do that now. If I lose my halfway to a level, that's 400, I think I'm on 468,000 runes. Ugh, so I'm crazy. well over, I mean, I need 860,000 to, to get to where I need to be. So it's, I'm like, I'm, I'm just over halfway there to another level. Um, it's sad so yeah. that you can't go back and not be on New Game Plus and... Yeah, I mean, I, I could have done it. I, I could have done if I if I had smartly done the thing of. I didn't think about it. it. Didn't even cross my mind at the time. But I could have done the thing where I could have taken, it, removed, you know, copied the save file mm. from the end of the game, kept the save file separate, and then effectively swapped. You know, played through New Game Plus, and then if I, you know, gone back and say and and then inserted the old save file in it and it would have just recognized it and gone this is your save file off you go sort of thing mm-hmm. because it, it is just literally one save file that i've got yeah. so it is what it is um I've, I've i've gone down like a rabbit hole of watching some just people playing original elder ring uh this past week or so and i noticed something that somebody got which was a it was a talisman of sorts, which regenerates FP on on killing enemies. And FP is your mana. And that, that I'm very much a mana person because I'm all magic based. Mm. Um, so I was like, oh, this sounds really good. So then I, I was like, okay, I know where this is. I didn't envisage how much work I'd have to do to get to it. Um, it wasn't it wasn't a great you know, a massive amount of work to do. But I had to go through a sort of boss fight where you had to fight a Mimic tier, uh, which Ew. basically a Mimic tier just replicates you. Mm. There's a boss fight in the game where you go into a room and then a Mimic tier is there and it, and it replicates you. And I had to fight it. But this, I, I very smartly, I, I, I did the thing where I... I, I unequipped my weapons. So the mimic spawned with no weapons and it just started <laughs> throwing, it just it just came in and started throwing punches at me. You're a rascal. If it yeah, were well it, it, if it were it, 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 I, well I mean initially I was getting punched and I was like I tried swapping the weapon out because you can't do that now, you're getting attacked. I was like, Oh god, can't do it. So I pulled my mimic out. We also had just so that so I, I was watching two mimics having a punch up. Um just both punch each other. I got out of the combat sort of thing, stepped away, and then I could, then I finally could equip a weapon. Um, so I did that, and then it was straightforward. Once I once I got my uh, staff out, it was just cut it down pretty quick. So I did that and got what I needed to do from the next boss fight that I needed to to get to the thing. And it's all right. It is what it is. We'll figure it out. So now I'm going back to back to the DLC see what else needs what else i can go before i know where there's definitely a boss fight but i like to say i need four hundred thousand, and i could get a, a good chunk of them from a boss so it's, it's risk reward i could go to the boss fight and give it a good hiding but i don't think i will mm. that's what that's what worries me i don't want to lose them and it's playing a constant game of trying to chase them runes at that point because it's just me just just Going into the going into the boss room, running to where I died, picking back mm. up again, and never then scramble trying to oh, trying to trying to beat like it, trying panic. to trying to beat it. But I'd I'd rather go into a boss fight with the you know being relaxed and like okay, Let's enjoy if, if, this. If, once I've got no runes, it doesn't matter. I can die as many times as I want. If I die, I don't get them back. It don't matter. Mm. Um, but then I am level three hundred and two, so I think well, does it matter? 
Does it matter? Because yeah. I wasn't envisaging ever getting leveled, leveling up again anyway, because I'm that higher level. It takes that long. But it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, other than that, that is uh, pretty much it for games. Um, but I did oh, say... Hang on, he's got a butt. I did say... Um, I had so, I had something a, a thought starter for us. I mean, Kev, it'll be easy for you. Um, Everything's easy for me. I'm very good. It, well, you'd think so. Um, th- I mean, it, this this will be easy for you, but it shouldn't be. Um, it is exactly. Uh, we're halfway well, through. The, we're, we're halfway through the year. I'm just telling you my game of the year. I assume that's where we're going. I want to know what your game is. A half game of the year is at this point. Oh, we are God. halfway through the year. We're in June. Um, there have been many good games coming out, to which Kev has played one. Yep. It's the only one he's I need. Played two. No, he's one not. He's played game two. Of the year. What's the uh, other one I've played? You played Persona 3. And I can't oh, say God, I that keep would forgetting count. that exists. I feel like I've, that o- I've only done counts. the first 10 or, tw- 10 or 15 hours of that. Anna, when I'm looking for things to play, remind me that exists. <laughs> I keep forgetting that came out. Put it I on the list, play Anna. that. Put it on the list. Kev likes yeah. Persona. Yeah. I mean, that wouldn't be eligible for Game of the Year I anyway. I think I can't decide if it would be eligible. Yeah. Mm. Now, our rules are quite strict on remakes. That wouldn't be eligible bubble, bubble, anyway. Yeah. I'm, uh, that would be me. the thing. I'll, I'll spend the next three months playing that now. Absolutely adore it and won't be allowed to put it towards Game of the Year. Trying to, the trying the to year. finagle a way of loopholing it in some way. Yeah. It's me trying to loophole Shadow of the Earth Tree and trying to think, well, it's a DLC, but it is. I was like, yeah, I'm not even going to try. You wouldn't let me have the Cyberpunk no, exactly. DLC last year. So exactly. exactly. Not a that, chance of letting thing. you have DLC in. I don't think it would be my my, my Game of the Year, as it were, realistically. So like I say, I've. I've, I've I kind of believe in the thing of not letting DLC in, but I don't. I don't. I'm not have anything against remakes per so per se. Um, especially when the the well, I don't know. I don't know because it, it's, it's, like it's rebuilt. Slope. There's so many remakes. Oh yeah, it's if you. I mean, because they did the re-release of it last year or the year before. Yeah, and yeah. if you run them side by side, it, it looks completely different. But all they've exactly. really done is taken that game and do it, put it in the Persona 5 engine. It's not like it's, I don't know, I don't think it's massively, it's not completely different, is yeah. my understanding of it. Yeah. It does. When I think of like, I mean, last year there was Resident Evil 4 remake, and that was that was on tons of people's lists. Yeah, but I wouldn't let it. And now I kind, I, that's the thing. I can't. I kind of see why they would, because it's like completely remade. And yes, the beats are there, but they've changed things in it. And I don't want to encourage all this remake nonsense. No, remakes I know, but rubbish. I say that that's that's the thing that the re- Resident Evil remakes have been that good, and they've always been in people's games of the year, and. I kind of agree with it, but I also I know the principles of it, and we shouldn't do because because they'll we'll end up sneaking stuff in there that we shouldn't do. But um, yeah, I don't know. I for me, like this, there's like ton. I've, I've brought the, I had the list of games somewhere. I wrote it down. I wrote it down. Uh-huh. Uh, do you have any off the top of your head thoughts, Anna, on what the, your best anything? game this year so far? I don't know what you just said because it was breaking up. Game of the year so far. Do you not have any thoughts? Not a, not no. <laughs> no, I, I don't. Mean, I don't even know what I've played this year. If I'm honest. Final Fantasy Rebirth came out this year. No, not finished no? it. No, well, you don't mm. have to have finished it because we're, we're not. We're just going off off roughly what we've got to really. Uh, yeah, Blatchel's there. We'll skip over that one. Uh, that Star Wars game came out this year. Star Wars game came out this year. I think the fact that you're struggling to come up with games really makes the po- my point from before for me. They're, I mean, I, I mean, I, I can tell you, I can tell you the games that have come out this year that I've played. Um, and there's, there yeah, are a lot. Gonna, you can't just say Fortnite eight times, probably. No, no. I mean, years. Fortnite is Fortnite. Not, is not on the list, but Dragon's Dogma Two is. Um. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, is that it came out this oh, year. Oh, see, I have played good. that for 20 minutes at EGX, yeah, but it did. counts. I yeah, wasn't that impressed. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
the that's Persona Three. Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth. That will probably be probably be mine. It's um, not a DLC. No, no, no. It's a separate. It's a new. It's a new, it's a new it? entry. Yeah, because the, the, the previous game was uh, Yakuza Yakuza Seven, like a dragon. This is like a dragon infinite wealth. This is a, this is a new game. The last one came out in twenty twenty. No, it is a new game. Yeah, it's a whole new game. You're in a whole new country. Um, that came out this year. Hell Divers came out this year. So that they're the two that are probably top of my list right now, based on just hours I've played. Because I probably played probably. 80 ish hours into Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, and I'm probably similar numbers in Helldivers right now. Um, so, yeah, it's probably one of those two for me. Oh, like I say, we can't have DLC. Um, so, that's not going to cut it really. Uh, yeah, I, I, I would probably go with something like that. I mean, just scrolling through other games. Animal Well came out this year. I know people speak, we haven't spoke of Animal Well because I'll get. Just battered for saying a Metroidvania again. Um, you do. I mean, Sheepdog's not here to really go for you for it, but you do say that. You know that what's funny, right? You know what's funny is, what's Sheepdog's favourite game? I don't listen to most of what he says. What does he game does he never stop talking about? Pokemon. No. Well, yes, Pokemon. But... That <laughs> and stupid little Simpsons cartoon platformer out. that he thinks is cool. Hold I on can't now. remember the name of. Yeah, that one. That's a Metroidvania. His little hipster game that he it's plays. It's a soul. You know what's worse? It's a souls like Metroidvania, and he loves it. And then the second I start talking about it, he starts crunching his ice cream cones like he doesn't. He only doesn't loves it because it, he thinks it's cool to love it. It's it's a yeah. hipster game. Yeah. Well, there you go. Hades Two came out in early access this year. Does that count? Yeah. Yes. It's a new game. So we're not. So early access is not a. Thing. Well, here's the thing, Pabby. Do you want it counting this year or when the full game comes out? Well, that's out? the thing. That's the thing. It's that you can't have it both ways, can you? No, so um, you've got to choose. It won't be in mine because I've barely played it because I've played enough. Oh, of it to hold go. on a sec. I just accidentally stopped my recording. Oh. Um, that's on. fine. That's fine. Are you back? Yeah, I'm um, still here. I'm just the not internet recording. went down. Oh, that might recording. be what happened then. Weird. Um, my, I just got a message pop up saying my recording had stopped. No, um, my recording's still going, but for the past minute, I've not heard anything you lot said. So, huh. interesting. This Everything's gone not a thing. on our end then. Actually, I mean, I think my recording might even be corrupted. I hope Craig's here. Craig is here. We're fine. We can carry on. Let's carry on then. We can I carry think on. Craig is, is here. Completely corrupted because it's not. Craig is me here. Save the world. good. Got, so, carry on, Pabby. Ignore me. Ignore him. He's just losing his internet. Um, yeah. There's, there's, there are there are a lot of games that have come out and oh that doesn't count. Shin Megami Tensei Five doesn't come out. That does that came out years ago. That's a, a royal situation, isn't it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Final Fantasy yeah. Seven's here. Yeah. That's a uh, infinite wealth. Indica's there. Is on this list. Yeah. There you go. Another the one that I tell you what, Kev, I'll, I'll be glad to see if you do play Indica. I wondered what you, you might have a change of heart of games that came out this year. <laughs> Oh, we'll see. We'll see, Pabby. Yeah, I'm just going to get told off when I come when you are, are, yeah. back. It's going to go one of two ways. Either I'm going to have a bone to pick with you for keeping it secret for so long, or I'm going to come back here fuming that I've wasted £15 on it. I mean, it's 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 going to take you four hours to beat. It's it's an experience. It's an experience. It's like £3.50 oh. an hour. I'm a football manager player. I'm used to pennies, on, pennies per hour. Yeah. Um... Stellar Blade came out this year, Anna. That is one that interesting. Came out. Yes, would you would you say that is one of one of the better games you've played this year? Because I I feel like it is for me. Possibly, I'd have to look at the list. I can't. I can't pick. Yeah. Off. I know it's July. Oof. I couldn't pick off the top of my head anything I've played this year. It's bit been a bit of a huh. been a bit of a blur. It is, a, it is a funny one that might that I don't know why it's on the it's on this list. I don't know if it's saying the best. It is saying on the on the page of best games of twenty twenty four so far. WWE two K twenty four. Right, this list is absurd. Mm-hmm. I mean, it got it, it's it's listing through games that have got eights or above, and it, it, yeah, it got I eight. mean, all the only mode I played was general manager mode, and it right. was fun, but it it's fun for a 
five or six hours and then it's got no yeah, replayability yeah. or depth to it so it's it's got a long way to go to actually be a proper gm mode like we used to get in the past yeah yeah but that's what you'd like though don't you like the database I one do. that you like the the total the wrestling, wrestling. Over it. yeah Whoa. there you go see. don't want any of these graphics or animations graphics and animations ruin video games i just want <laughs> i just want data manipulation that's all i need well there you go so for, for me for me personally, it'd be out of the free. Oh no, I don't. Know. I like Dragon's Dogma as well. What a worryingly, it. based on what you've just said, if I don't pull my finger out in the next six months, I'm going to have to put WWE 2K24 on my five. <laughs> so there's an incentive for me to play some to new start games, playing some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, there's, there's there are tons of games. Like I said, there's there's so many games. You just gotta you just gotta look a little. And not everything's going to be AAA. Far from it. Mm. Um. But then, let's like say, oh, that, 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 that you might find a gem like Bellatro. Um which I found all by myself, if I recall. You definitely did, yeah. Same way Sheepdog found that Sweeker game, yeah. He found it all by himself. Can't believe that. I mean, he I think he in... genuinely believed he did. He had yeah. found it. I, I was doing my normal bit, but he thought he had something that was brand new that we'd never heard of. The week after you'd talked about it for ten minutes, yeah, that was that was unreal, wasn't it? That was unreal. That was, uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I'd probably say out of my what three games, Hell Divers, um, probably Stellar Blade, um, and uh, Like a Dragon, Infinite Wealth. Those are the games that I would say right now are the, are the top my my top front runners, like my front three that I don't. Want. But then, like I say, Indica's on here, and I I really like my time with Indica. Is I fully finished it. Four hours. I like a little short game that is just tells a nice story and it gets in, gets out, doesn't stay, you know, overstates welcome. So I don't know. Who knows? I might be swayed. The more I think about it, the more I don't know. Probably won't, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Like I say, six months. There's still another six months of the year to go. We'll see what there's. There's, there's a lot of games coming out in the next six months. Exactly, um, and let's face it: the three of us are going to play the uh, the Spider Man ride at Disneyland Paris together. So we'll name we'll name that game of the year because we'll set the high <laughs> score on that. Yes, yeah. Why not? I feel like that that is that's eligible. Rides exactly. count as games of the year. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is a game. It's just a it's a VR game. That's yes. effectively it's VR. what it is. What is it then? It's AR. What's the difference? VR, you're you're in you're in the headset. AR, sh- like like glasses that you can see outside, but with stuff projected onto it. So it yes. sounds unnecessarily complicated. <laughs> what Papa uh, said. Yes, me. I'm right. Yes. Right. Sure. Is that it? Are we done? I think. I think. With I've, I, like I say, I mean, I can bring some more lists up if you really wanted me to, but I don't. I feel like most of things on these lists are. Pretty much universally all the same. No, I am happy to not have any more lists presented to me. I feel You've got like homework. You have homework for next week. Next yeah. when you get back. Lovely. There you go. Love, love a bit of homework. Right, <laughs> boys and girls. If you want to hassle us on the internet, you can do that at MG UK Podcast, or you can follow me at Lelujo. I'm Miss Lelujo. And I'm Pab nineteen eighty six. And well, we won't, but Pabby will. See you next week, boys and girls. Bye bye. Thanks for listening, folks. Bye-bye.